Hi guys, Barnaby from Spurred On here. Now, I've arrived at White Hart Lane over five and a half hours before the Everton game today, and that's because it is the Carling Shirt Amnesty. Now, if you haven't heard about this, basically, you can come down to the hatch at the Tottenham Community Centre and exchange your old Spurs shirts for a new one. The only rules are it has to be a shirt from the last three years, and it has to have the name of a recently departed player on it. Now, I have my Benny Asu Okoto shirt, and to be honest, I'm not sure if it's from the last three years or not. It could be from four years ago, but I'm going to go up to the hatch and find out. And also, whilst I'm there queuing, I'm going to speak to some fans and see what they think about Spurs' season so far and how we're going to do against Everton today. Let's check it out. OK, guys, don't give me bad news. I'm Barnaby. I'm from Spurred On. I've got this Benny Asuakoto shirt. It doesn't get any better than this. He actually once signed it, but I've worn it so many times it's rubbed off. Is it within the three-year deal? <coughs> Show me the pictures. Guys, they're telling, they're telling me it's a no-go. Okay, guys, so these are the shirts that you're allowed to bring up. These are the away shirts from the last three years. Basically, my one, Nepat allowed. Bad news. And come up to this stand, and these lovely ladies, who have been horrible to me but are, in essence, lovely, will swap your shirt for a new one. So I can recommend it. It's at the Tottenham Community Centre. Get down here. Well, I've got David with me. You've picked up your new shirt, haven't you, David? Tell us what you think of the new kit. You a big fan? Mate, I am a big fan of the new kit. The uh, the, the last one was a, uh, was a little bit too figure-hugging for my liking, so... Uh... Was it too figure-hugging, or had you just got bigger during the duration of you having owned the shirt? Yeah, I'd I probably grew into it. I think that's absolutely fine. Uh, do you remember those old stretchy kappa kits we had <laughs> where they were elasticated so you could get bigger with the shirt? Correct. I was a bit, I was a bit slimmer back then. Though. Which shirt did you swap for this one? Uh, did you have a name on the back of it and who, who have you swapped out? Soldado. Yeah, Bobby Soldado who's just left the club and started ripping it up in the Spanish league. Two goals in two games for him. So you got your new shirt. You happy with it? What do you think of the kit this year, Martin? Um, I quite like it, actually. And James, so what, what shirt did you swap for yours? I uh, had a Paulinho shirt. Oh my God, it couldn't have gone any worse for you, Jamie, could it? Uh, it, was, it was pretty tragic, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. I'm now officially handing out the shirts from within the Amnesty van. I'm here with Shelley. Shelley, how have the Spurs fans been so far? Have they given you any uh, No, they seem to have been pretty grateful. We've had loads of requests for new players. Sun's been very popular. So. Sun, the new man, we only signed him yesterday. Everyone wants Sun on their back because also it makes their fathers think that they're thinking about their father. Well, Father's Day's been and gone, but I suppose it's a nice sentiment coming up to Christmas. Shelley not only giving out Spurs shirts today, but also giving good advice to father-son relationships. I think that's important. Uh, we're hoping for the queue to get a bit longer, and then I'm going to be handing out some Spurs shirts, getting the love, and making sure we get more subscribers to Spurred On, guys. It couldn't get any better than this, could it, Shelley? Only if you've got a cup of tea. I'll go and get the tea. Are you feeling positive? It's been an awkward start. It has been an awkward start. I, um, yeah, look, I, I, I'm staying positive. I think we've, the uh, the first win's got to come sooner or later. And uh, we've, my wife and I have actually come from Australia to watch this game. No pressure, David. So, no pressure. So I'm hoping that this is the one. Okay, so David has come all the way from Australia to see Spurs beat Everton. The positives I can see, Everton had extra time in the League Cup on Wednesday night. They played pretty much a full team. We should be rested. We got the positivity of two new signings. Even though they won't play, hopefully they'll push the players on. Give us your prediction, David. Just go for it. I reckon 1-0 Spurs. 1-0 Spurs. <laughs> a goal fest, predicts David. Uh, you think we're going to win as well? Yeah, I'd like to see a win. I, I, nah. 2-0 is going to be the score on I'm going for, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, I think fancy is 2-1 today. Well, let, let us know, guys. Uh, we're going to release this before kickoff. Let us know if you agree with what, they're gonna, what their predictions are in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter, at SpurredOnTV. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate that. Hi, guys. Barnaby for Spurred On here for a transfer special. That's right. Daniel Levy has opened the purse strings. Only five days or so to go till transfer deadline day. And one a little bit out of the left field. We only heard about this yesterday. It is Hyung Min Son. 